Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of New Arrivals. My name is Kumbos from the Fellowship of Acoustics and on New Arrivals we are going to show you some of the nicest new arrivals that we just received in our store. Uh, we do this on a week weekly basis, so feel free to tune in every Friday and uh, enjoy the video. This week is, uh, is especially for a vintage lover, a great video because we got some very nice vintage guitars and uh, the ones that we have laying here on the ground are not all of them, we got many more. So. Uh, yeah, keep tuned on the website and let's not wait any longer and start off with guitars. All right, so the first one here is this beautiful 64 Murphy aged SG and what Gibson did for us is they made it in beautiful faded pelham blue. The aging is superb as well as the historic specs. So if you're looking for a guitar that feels vintage, looks vintage, but you don't have one to take care of a vintage instrument because they can be, I wouldn't say weak, but a bit unreliable on stage every once in a while, then this one is your pick. It's an absolute beauty. So the next one up is uh, one of my favorite bands because for many years I already got one is this BSG. So BSG is this Czech manufacturer that builds beautiful guitars and is really a hidden gem. Not many people know about his existence, but the guitars that he makes are absolutely beautiful. Uh, so last week he visited us, so finally after COVID, uh, we saw each other again, uh, I think in two and a half, three years. And he brought two guitars with him uh, that we couldn't say no to. So this one is with beautiful Alpine Spruce Top and olive back and sides. And olive back and sides is something that I had not seen on such a large guitar. I see them on small body every once in a while, but yeah, it's just a beauty overall. And the sound is really interesting because olive kinds of gives it a really mellow feel to it. And the Czech guitars have this European grand piano sound and that together with that mellow warmth from the back and sides is a really nice blend to have. Some of the nice details here is that the olive is not only taken back here in the rosette, but also here on the inlays on the fretboard. He's been working super precise on these guitars. So now it's time for the vintage lovers. So the first one up is this 67. 28, pretty beaten up, but uh, still in very good shape. Uh, plays incredible, um, has some saddle left, so there's some room for adjustment. Beautiful Brazilian rosewood back and sides, and especially this set is really nice. Uh, we also have a triple 28. I think we shared some pictures of that one already a couple of weeks back on our Instagram. That will be coming online as well. And that one has such a spectacular uh, Brazilian rosewood back and sides set as well. Uh, so make sure to check out that one if this dreadnought is a little bit too big for you. Uh, so 67 to 69 they made them with Brazilian, after that it became Indian Rosewood. So it's still uh, that magical toad. wood. So she already had a neck reset at one point in time and I think she needs to run in about five to ten years. So there's still plenty of playing time before you need to think about a neck reset. Uh, somebody sent it off the neck, probably a professional musician. Sometimes they find it a bit too sticky. Uh, so they send it off and oil it, uh, which gives it super nice and natural feel to it. Also has very old pickup installed. These have developed a bit over here, so we happily install a new one for you or bring it back to original position and remove it. Mm -hmm. 
So the next one up is also from 67, but it's something completely else. Uh, that is this beautiful ES345. Uh, when this guitar arrived, to us, she was quite a mess, to be honest. The electronics weren't working. She wasn't as clean as she is now. Um, so what we did is we gave it to our magician, Harry, and have Harry put it all back to original spec and original wiring. So that's superb again. She comes with the original pickups, she comes with the original tuners. All of the hardware, as far as we know, is original. Uh, we had to do some rewiring on it and the weather checking is just beautiful. That sunburst is really nice. And I know you cannot smell it through the phone, mobile, laptop, television, however you're watching this, but the smell is great too. Vintage guitars have this particular smell that I, I think everybody who has a vintage guitar loves. So and last but not least, we did a really cool guitar safari to London last week. Uh, we met a lot of nice friends from the industry and like with BSG, I was really happy to go out again and see some guitars, see some manufacturers. We went to Alistair Redkin guitars as well uh, and also did some trades and this D18S was one of them. So it's a 1971 D18S and the biggest difference between the D18S and the standard D18 is the slope shoulder and the 12 fret. And what that does is it places the neck and the bridge and everything way back. It gives it a tonally completely different, completely different tonal sound. So the basses are super heavy, the trebles are super nice and it's, it's really interesting because it's not necessarily a strummer, even though it's a big dreadnought, you can strum on it, no problem, but especially when you finger pick it, the basses go so deep and the trebles uh, lay around on top of it, really nice, it's a uh, really interesting sound. I can talk about it all I want, but I think it's just best to watch the video of this one. So that was it for this week. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you enjoyed the guitars. Um, if you've ever questions on um, guitars like this, or if you have a vintage collection that you want to sell, feel free to reach out to us. Um, we happily take some more in. We have plenty of space, as you can see. Always space for guitars. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Cheers. Bye.